Thank you. Without objection, your written statements will be made part of the record. With that, Governor Pritzker, you are now recognized for your testimony. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairwoman. I want to thank my uh, friends uh, who represent us in Illinois who are on this committee, of course, Congressman Krishnamurthy and uh, Congresswoman Robin Kelly. Uh, to you, uh, Chair Maloney, Ranking Member James Comer, uh, distinguished members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you this morning. I've governed through this pandemic focused on a central tenet, and that's the, the role of government in a crisis is to end the crisis as quickly as possible and to alleviate the pain it inflicts on the people that we serve. Roughly one year into the pandemic, the American Rescue Plan injected a burst of resources into the national economy at a critical time. With all our efforts over the last two years, our investments in working families and small businesses are paying off. In 2021, our Illinois job growth rate outpaced all our neighboring states and exceeded the national average. Also in 2021, Illinois grew new startups at a faster clip than all other Midwest states and at a higher rate than the top eight most populous states nationally states like California and Texas and Florida. There's no doubt in my mind that the ingenuity and resilience of our people played a huge role in shaping that trajectory. I also know that my administration has used our resources, including ARPA funds, to provide as much short and medium term stability as possible to fuel our progress with great results. The program we discussed today provided the state of Illinois with $8.128 billion. Our local governments, including Chicago, are on track to receive another $5.93 billion. We view these resources as one-time recovery opportunities. We put half a billion dollars towards some of the most direct building blocks of our recovery, small businesses, tourism support, workforce development, and restoring our commercial corridors. That includes $300 million for our Back to Business grant program, building on our $500 million 2020 program to bring relief grants to small businesses all across Illinois. Our ARPA funds also made a significant impact on the number one challenge of the last two years, our ability to manage and mitigate the virus itself. The state coordinated almost 8,000 mobile vaccination clinics for some of our most vulnerable residents, including more than 2,000 school and youth vaccination clinics. And at the peak of the Omicron surge, Illinois had nearly 3,000 healthcare workers deployed across the state to keep our healthcare system operating. That's in addition to the healthcare workers we already employed. We increased support for immigrant welcoming centers. Uh, we ensured continuous government services at frontline agencies like the Department of Public Health. We launched an unprecedented commitment to combat firearm violence. We accelerated infrastructure investments, including our internet connectivity expansion program, and the list goes on. I have always believed that our economic recovery, both as a nation and as a state, goes hand in hand with our recovery from COVID-19, a truth that played out after the 1918 pandemic, and a truth that I expect history will tell of the moment that we live in now. The virus has remained a threat for far longer than any of us would like but we continue to find ways to live our lives, grow our economy, and protect the vulnerable all at the same time. I appreciate the federal government's ongoing support of that mission. And I thank you, all of you on the committee, for the privilege of presenting my testimony to you. And I look forward to your questions. Thank, thank you. you.